number three. Who will take the victory two to one? To as we dive into the land of dawn for this decider match. I really do agree with you once again. I'm sorry, I'm going back to the point, but they're going to have to wait a little bit longer for Cecilian to pop off with those stacks. And that's very different to Lunox, who I feel whose power spike comes a little bit more earlier on. And I don't know how much Evo's Legends can take to prevent Alter Ego Esports from just snowballing mm -hmm. from the get-go. But already Taz mo being very mobile on the board, perhaps that's exactly how they want to trade it off. Be aggressive in the early game with the Fanny, buy a little bit more time for Tsutsujin if it gets into that late game. Sally Boy is going for a different, more passive route. I guess he doesn't want to go toe to toe against a Fanny in the early game. Leo Murphy will spot the members of Evos, and James goes aggressively here. He will not be able to make anything happen. And Sally Boy already making the move towards the jungle of Evos Legends. He will be spotted though. Might be a bit too risky. Oh, Taz and Sally Boy both into the enemy jungle, but Sally Boy is going to have a tougher time. Sutsujin actually. Gonna be able to pick up the jungle creep with the bad impact, and this is definitely not good for Sully Ooh. Boy. Fanny already onto the orange buff. I don't think they can contest this, and you can see already from Sully Boy, he doesn't want to contest it. He goes into the enemy jungle. He doesn't go for the orange buff instantly, he goes for the other creep. So, again, this is gonna be some time bought, and Pendragon already responding, and oh, Ooh. he didn't take it. Sully Boy is still able to secure it, but he didn't go for the orange buff, yeah? He's just avoiding. Uh, he's just avoiding Taz as much as possible, not wanting to deal with that, but you can see he's already on the way. He will have a three buff start, so Taz is already having an overwhelmingly high advantage, already a level ahead of Sally Boy. Right now, we can see that the Lord, sorry, the Turtle has already spawned in the Land of Dawn, the first Turtle of the game. But both of the teams have not actually located towards this area. Meanwhile, Evo's Legend as well as Alter Ego, they're battling it out here in that bottom lane, perhaps looking for a man advantage to get that upper hand and edge onto the Turtle. Dreams, though, already putting on a lot of pressure in the enemy jungle again. Wow. Dreams able to get out with the shampoo there from Leo Murphy's I Am Offended. Baiting it out for the turtle take now. It should be in favor of Evo's Legends. Taz doesn't even give a time for the cameraman to put the camera onto him. He gets first blood up top, presented to you by the Samsung Galaxy A series. Ooh, if Alter Ego wants to go and contest the turtle now, this is the time for it. There's two members on top side, but it doesn't seem like Evo's Legends will let them get that easily. Oh, Pendragon gonna be caught here. Oh my god, so much damage placed onto it. Temple Blaze as well. That's Pendragon taken down. Alter Ego equalized in kills. None of the teams going for the turtle just yet. Batas now jumping in with the steel cables onto Leo Murphy. So Sujin not really gonna be able to use that Sanguine Claws. He popped the Bad Feast though. That's a free turtle take for Evos. Yeah, Alter Ego Esports, they don't want to try and contest this. We can see that Uriel is forced to retreat as well, perhaps with mana problems. But we can see now the rotation is going to go towards that top side. But meanwhile, Clover is nowhere to be found. Alter Ego Esports unable to get any compensation for losing that turtle. It's very efficient here, Evo's Legends. They send Taz to actually counter jungle in the side of Alter Ego Esports jungle, and then their own jungle in, the, in, the, in their own side is being secured by Clover for extra bits of income. So it's very smart, but now Leo Murphy is trying to make a play on the top side. Clover though is too slick with it. He'll be getting out. And you can see the range of the basic attacks from Nino, right? Mm. This time he has actually opted for the Killing Spray Emblem again, right? So he's really banking on the fact that he's able to get some kills or some eliminations in the team fights for that additional sustain. But now Evo's Legends once again still in control of the map so far. And that's interesting because when it comes down to it, Alter Ego Esports should have that better early. But wait a minute. Dreams, what? Did he use that flicker? He did, and he's going to be caught and I'm offended. But Taz now comes in to the fray. Not really going to overextend this time around. Learning from the mistakes of game number one. He's going to go for the counter jungle instead. As Sunnyboy jumps in onto Sutsujin. Has the top of the blades. Not going to be able to use it offensively as Clover has rotated. Good cover by Evos. Ooh, oh okay. my god! Ooh, Dill almost gets taken out. You can already see that Taz is playing a bit more carefully. But Alter Ego 
They're having a lot more success in staving off that aggression with Leo Murphy on the Ruby instead of the Cooper. It's a lot more guaranteed. Uh-oh, Dream Pass of Kundo gonna go and hit it onto Nino, but again, a perfectly timed second ability as Taz disengages as well, knowing Leo Murphy has that I'm offended, has that momentum stopper in his passive. Five minutes in and only two kills on the board. Both teams are playing it carefully, but Odio is going to be caught in the crosshair. So another pickup has been taken by Evo's Legends now, leading with a bit amount of gold. Any differences in items, Arashi? Wing Talker already secured for Selly Boy, but he is trying to play a farming game against Taz on the Fani. He already has the Heptasis as well, so a lot of burst damage available as Clover is still building up for his power spikes. Same thing with Nino, who has a Hunter Strike, trying to make sure <laughs> that he can get an advantage in the kill department, but Dreams and Leo Murphy having a little dance right here. <laughs> yeah. It's funny to watch again. You know, uh, the players, it's a competition, but it's it's glad to see that they're having fun in the game. But here, though, Sully Boy jumping in. Pen Dragon is on the purple buff. He's trying to force that retribution from Sully Boy. He jumps in with the falling starboard and he enables Taz to jump in. Sully Boy picking up the kill, but the purple buff was stolen away by Taz, I believe, with their retribution there. So, a link with no purple buff. I think it's a good trade. Very worthwhile trade for the side of Evo's Legends. And right now, they haven't been having, having control, but Nino is already kind of low, so they might actually use this opportunity to actually take control in the turtle buff, uh, around the turtle, and actually try and get picks on Alter Ego instead. Yeah, Link caught already super low. He forced a retreat right now, and Taz once again being just a huge factor, a huge nuisance being able to roam around the map, deny the pressure that initially was trying to be given by Alter Ego Esports in that bottom side. But look at this, I'm a Venet does miss from the side of Leo Murphy. So already a huge resource spent right before the take of that turtle. Oh, top side though, you know, still able to get out. Clover taken low, Selly Boy without the purple buff. You can see the kill pressure is almost gone. He doesn't, he can't really go for any of those dives. Well, despite everything against them though, it's still a 2v2, uh, 2 kills for 2 kills for both these teams. Taz though has the Malefic Roar, so he is still the main menace in his team. But Alter Ego, they're also letting Evo's like scale up to the late game. Oh, Ooh. Dream to the way the Dragon Flicker combo brings Leo Murphy back for Taz to pick up the kill. But no, wait a minute, Leo That's Murphy right. with I'm Offended brings 3 back onto him. Right now, Sunny Boy goes in, picking up the kill onto Taz. And another kill goes onto the hands of Udil, Leo onto Murphy's the side of the others. But look in the back lines, Nino was able to find a double kill somehow. Oh. Udil looking for the triple. He's jumping Pendragon, 1 HP. Udil, he's hungry for it, he's jumping in. Oh. Picks up the kill, Alter Ego. Turn the tides. Four members taken down from the side of Evo's Legends and Alter Ego Esports with the space can converge on the objective. Meanwhile, Pai here on the bottom side already able to take away a turret from Evo's. And now, Woo! Alter Ego Esports, just one moment, just one mistake from Evo's Legends, now leading with 2,000 gold here in the eighth minute. That is insane, man. That was a great turnaround. And he, Leo Murphy, he was surviving for so, so long. And they just bought all the time, all the opportunities in the world for Alter Ego. This is why that Ruby pick is a lot better than the Kufra. It is paying dividends for sure. The mobility, the car control, but high right now in a tough situation. He will be able to walk away though. Oh, oh, he baits and he buys so much time for the other members there in the top side. But look, Dreams wants to go for the kill. Jumps in with the Jihudo and the Shun Poo. Not able to dish out more damage. Clover now caught. Has the sprint to dash out. Sully Boy can just go for another. Clover has the BMI traded in for a tier 2. That was definitely not worth it. Leo Murphy jumps in and has chain comboed in. Sutsuji is taken out. Dreams has to win the dragon. Gonna be able to bring Udil. Nope. Just knocks him up for a bit as Nino goes in for the stun. All the toss is not gonna be caught. Torn apart memory. Not popped just yet. Nino holding on to it as Alter Ego find another 2 for 0. And on to Udil. So he's now sitting at 4 1 2 in that mid lane. As compared to Sutsuji, who's a level behind so far and it's interesting to see Alter Ego Esports they're making Evo's Legends desperate for picks on the board they're making them desperate to look for any compensation on the board and they're using this to their benefit they're able to get more picks on the board and actually now with a 4,000 gold lead it just seems that Evo's Legends they lack the the guaranteed engage early on they were actually uh, able to use a Franco but now Dreams on the troll with everyone being so much more mobile, with Leo Murphy even, having a bit more mobility in the hops coming in from Ruby, he's having a difficult time as Clover gets jumped on by Pi. <laughs> Pi 
No one's really going on the pie right now. Purple buff now might just be taken away by Selly Boy. Taz did the same to him. And Alter Ego needs to be careful though. They do pick up the purple buff. But Tutsu Jin was able to get a few stacks on that bat impact. Alter Ego with a 4,000 gold lead. They're just playing for the Lord. They can control the Lord Pit as much as they want right now. And they can have a chance to actually use this to try and bait members to fight Ashley instead. They see Taz already in the bottom side, so they should actually start this before they actually lose towers to, for no real reason. No mm. purple buff. It does seem like the most likely are just giving it up. They're going yeah. for a trade. They're looking for any competition on the board. They are going to be able to get that tower in that bottom side. But to be honest, right now, this is what we expected. We expected Alter Ego Esports to be very aggressive in that early game. Taz looking for another set of compensation. Wow. He does chunk it to half health, so a little bit has been done. And now the timetable is actually ticking for the side of Alter Ego. If Evo's Legends is able to just, you know, prevent this from ending, they may be able to do the same thing that they did in game number two. Wait for that power spike to hit. Wait for the moment that Clover as well as Tsutsu Jin gets those really important items and maybe turn the tides. Well, right now though, Evo's Legends, they lack the decisive uh, playmaking ability. So Alter Ego, they are in control and that is exactly where they want to be. One more turret will not fall just yet, but they are trying to make use of the Lord as much as possible. Pi is really pushing and they are trying to make sure that all the waves connect at the same time, but they don't seem to be in place to actually capitalize on this. It's crazy. Alter Ego has a 6,000 gold lead and again, it's this refined version of Alter Ego. Once they get that gold lead, they actually stay, they stop. They don't really go for those crazy flippy fights anymore. But Evo's Legends, with that Sicilian in the draft, are able to take down that tur that Lord, actually. Oh, Taz, even with no purple buff, still very, very aggressive, but will be hit back towards his base there. Clover, oh my god, what, 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 Clover? He jumped in onto the members, and that actually enabled Taz to jump in. Without the unfended, they were able to pick up the damage onto Ooh, it, but Nino, wow. oh my goodness, the Torn Apart memory finds its mark. Clover gets taken out, one for zero. So it is, in the end, a mistake. It looked like a, a problem, and then they came back, and then it, it, you know, capitalized. <laughs> That's why the game is so confusing, man. Both, the, the, both these teams are just making all these crazy plays. Clover tries to clear the wave and burn a few a few spells, but Alter Ego were able to adjust, and Selly Boy was already coming in in the wing, so Evo's Legends, they have a lot to worry about. They sent two members to deal with Selly Boy, but the rest of Alter Ego are able to secure that base turret. Yeah, all the inhibitor turrets, almost all the inhibitor turrets inside of Evo's Legends have already fallen down. It leaves one left standing. Oh, two left standing. Mm -hmm. But that's going to be a natural push there in that top side. So they need to be able to maneuver around this way better, be a little bit more disciplined when it comes down to that lane because we've seen the way that Alter Ego Esports are able to use that backdoor strat, understanding that they do have the link to might who might be able to replicate that type of thing from happening, though? Oh my god! Dream's gonna get caught, I'm offended, but that's an important Ooh. resource used onto the roamer. Pi still able to zone out the other members. Taz tries his best to go for the steal onto the purple buff. He uses Retribution. That means he won't have it for the Lord that's coming up in five seconds. Enhanced Lord for Alter Ego might be taken for free this time. The rest of Alter Ego is doing really, really well right now. Udo actually has the highest damage dealt because he has I don't know, a lot more DPS in his kit if he uses the Empower Skies. And so Alter Ego, they're able to take that Lord. There's no contest. Evo's Legends tries to trade for it, but even then, they're not really fast enough. Alter Ego might be able to just cut them off. They very respectfully recall back out of danger. Oh yeah, they didn't want to risk it. They could have been able to push that top side, but they were scared of a collapse here coming in from Alter Ego Esports. And now the Lord is already marching there in the top side and Taz goes in for the kill. Oh, he's able to dash away with the steel cables. Dreams with the flicker combo onto Udil. Not the right target here as the rest of the team is able to capitalize. Oh, Dreams wow. taken down. Torn apart memory already popped. Four ultimates popped in by both of the teams here before the Enhanced Lord even comes down to the base. Alter Ego might be able to look for the push here as that's gonna be Clover caught in the first ability of Nino. Nino's gotta be careful here. The BMI was still placed down there. Clover has the blazing duet again. They're looking for more here in the base. But even in the top side, Masha is able to zone Taz away. Wow, Nino was taken so low in the beginning by Taz, but he's stuck there. He knows the danger has passed and he just keeps hitting and doing a lot of damage. You know, nerves of steel coming in from Nino. 
Oh, again, the siege potential coming in. Nino is going to be able to take a lot of HP from the base turrets. All three taken down. Now the minions might come crashing down into the base, depending on how Evo's Legends deal with it. Now that they have Tzu Jin up with Clover as well. Tzu Jin is going to be the key in this defense. Alter Ego do not want to overextend, to overcommit. But maybe they do. Actually, they want to stay a little bit longer here. Leo Murphy going to be able to dash out of the Sanguine Claws. I'm afraid of connecting, and Ventrax going to be bristed down instantly. Udil picking up the kill into the back line. Silly Boy jumping in. Dream's going to get caught. Nino still able to survive with Wind Nature. He's going to get caught in the bad impact, though. Pai's already onto the base. Toss now going in, going crazy. The Slower picks up the kill. A two for two. Alter Ego. They were too aggressive. Oh. So Jin punishes that movement by Leo Murphy. Alter Ego. Flashbacks to the past. They did not wait. They forced it. That's the problem now because they have to understand that Evo's Legends have the better high ground. Sutsujin is going to deal a lot of damage in the long run, especially in those long type of drawn out um, team fights. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what was reflected onto him. And he initially was behind quite a bit, but he's beginning to start to equalize with Udil already both at fit level 15. You can see that Udil as well as Sully Boy, they're pretty much at full items already. So the power spike stops here. They need to try and end the game as fast as possible. So they were playing that base siege with a bit more urgency. But unfortunately, I don't know, it looks pretty okay. They engage onto Pendragon, they burst him down, they use Udo's Empowered Chain to zone everyone away, but afterwards, they continue fighting for it, and that is where I think they made a mistake. If they just took out Pendragon and back away, I think they have a good chance of waiting for more cooldowns and repeating the same process, and eventually getting numbers advantages to end the game. Right now though, they can fight for the Lord, Alter Ego is very, uh, is very much still the aggressor in the situation, and Evo's Legends respectfully wait for their opportunity yet again. They need to rely on Dreams to engage, but Alter Ego, they, have, they are very content in, in engaging towards Dreams instead, and they have the option of playing the split push game with Sally Boy right now. The later the game goes, the harder it's going to get for Alter Ego. Their composition finds their power spike in the mid-game. Meanwhile, Evo's Legends, they have a Claude, they have... A Sicilian that stacks forever. Alter Ego will need to look for a close desperately very, very soon. They need to capitalize on every single mistake that Evos makes in these rotations. Because if not, they're going to get outscaled. And that's the thing. That opens a lot of issues that Alter Ego Esports could potentially have. Because now they're the ones desperate to close off the game. Evos Legends, they just need one moment to bring it back towards them and actually be able to go for a one straight push, realizing that the clock on the death timers is going to be quite significant. Alter Ego Esports already setting up in this Lord Pit, maybe looking for someone to bait out, getting that man advantage and getting the upper hand in that Lord. Leo Murphy just wait, lying in wait, trying to find if he can... Uh... Find a target, find a victim for his I'm offended. He's gonna check the push and find dreams, but I don't think he'll just jump on it right now, unless Udil says otherwise. Enhanced chain popped in, that's a thunder clap as well, but look at Red Dragon, he jumps in with Clover, and he's able to find Leo Murphy. Nino is gonna be next. Sunny Boy gets the purple buff, gonna get kicked into the wall. The damage comes through for the bad impact. So Sujin unable to finish Sunny Boy off. A 1 4 0, but Alter Ego pick up the purple. Is it worth it? Honestly, thinking about it now, it will basically stop Taz from making those crazy plays, so it's kind of worth it. Even though Evo's got one kill, they can't really go for a lore take. But right now, Taz isn't playing to look for kills, he's playing to split the map, and he's doing it rather well. I mean, right now, it might be a 1v1 situation down bottom, so we'll see exactly what happens as, oh my god, here already an end gate from both teams in that mid side, but Taz apparently is going to be forced to retreat so far, and both of the teams, they're unable to get this forward without contact. The close 1v1 between Sally Boy and Taz, the issue right now is without Leo Murphy, Taz has a you know, free range to just do a lot of steel wire combos, steel cable combos, but Alter Ego now back at five members, they can repeat the same process, and this time, it'll be a bit more decisive. A lot of battle spells, though, were used, so if they keep track of one of these battle spells, I think it'll be very critical in deciding who gets the victory in the also important late game team fight in the Lord Pit. Silly Boy has the purple buff, Taz does not. That's gonna be a major factor coming into this last team fight. 
Lord has taken down to a quarter of its health already as Evo's Legends tries to look for a close. Liam Murphy, there you go. He's going to be able to bring Dreams back with the Aim of Pentatons still in the back lines. Pendragon jumping in, buying some time for the team. Clover's going to be the target right now as Pi jumps in, but with the nature, he's going to be popped by Clover, baiting in Silly Boy, who still has the damage. The Tempest of Blades to dash out. Nino with a Torn Pop memory finds the damage to kill Ooh. Pendragon, but it's going to be the bad impact coming down on towards Silly Boy. Udil doing wonders for his team, dealing the damage onto Sutsu Jin. Liam Murphy picks up the shutdown, and it's a 3-4-1 alter ego. They've won the team fight, but Pai gets taken down. Udil now jumping onto the toss, getting his immortality Ooh. down. Now no purple buff toss. Will he be able to escape? No, he will not. Oh Udil, God, the base. Kage is godlike. Clover is the only one who can defend. Repeat or revenge, alter ego will answer. They will find revenge. They will take Evo's legends down, ending their win streak and starting one for themselves.